Now with your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. So I know we had some rain recently. How did that help our drought monitor? You know, actually didn't change it at all. And here's why, Mariah. They compile this on Tuesdays. They mm -hmm. compile everything on Tuesdays, and all our rain happened Tuesday night. So when I show you the drought monitor, it's not going to include any sort of rain that we had on Tuesday. But the good news is it doesn't show any sort of disimprovement. Sorry, not disimprovement. It doesn't show any worsening of the drought that's going on. Look at last week. There was your abnormally dry conditions, a little yellow color, including most of the Concha Valley. This week, we're still dealing with those abnormally dry conditions, but nothing has changed in the Concha Valley. That's the good news. It's worsened a little bit off to our east, but nothing in the Concha Valley. Now, next week is when we should see an improvement in our drought monitor from all the rain we had on Tuesday. And speaking of Tuesday, we had those rough storms that moved through. The National Weather Service went out and actually determined that we had a tornado that occurred in Junction. Not only one tornado, but two tornadoes. The first one rolled across the southern part of town there. It was uh, running from 3 to 3.01 a.m. It's what is ranked at EF0 with a max wind of 80 miles per hour and only went for about uh, you know a tenth of a mile two two sorry two tenths of a mile there in southwest junction the next one actually started right in the middle of town it went right down main street this is the one that caused the most damage it was an ef1 with a max wind of 100 miles per hour and lasted about two minutes from 303 to 305 a.m in the morning path length of about seven tenths of a mile and it was 140 yards wide so that's what happened back at junction of course we got a story coming for you on KCN News at 10, one of our reporters going out there and doing that. Good story coming your way. Be sure to tune in. Look at the time lapse as we went through the day. Plenty of sunshine that went through the Concha Valley. Plenty of sunshine. A very nice day out there, although it was on the windy side. We had those winds blowing pretty close to 20 miles per hour. Just enough to be a nuisance. Not enough to really cause any damage like, say, what we were dealing with yesterday, especially what they were dealing with up in the panhandle. But temperatures warm pretty nicely behind it up into the mid-60s. Had a weak front that worked through early this morning. That's why we're cooler now, and that's why we'll be colder tonight. It's going to be a clear and chilly night tonight with temperatures going down to the 30s. The cooler weather hangs on for a while, so does the calm weather, and so do those below-average highs as we head towards your St. Patrick's Day weekend. Winds right now blowing about 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the northeast and out of the north. And the dew points are sitting in the upper 20s, so very dry air out there. And that's why temperatures, they were able to warm up pretty well, and they're going to be able to drop pretty well tonight. 68 right now in Junction. It's 62 in Ballinger. Ozona's checking in at 64, 62 in Robert Lee, and 64 right now in San Angelo. Nothing on the live radar network currently, at least here in the Concha Valley. There are a few light showers showing up on radar over towards the Panhandle, towards Albuquerque as well. Some of that may actually be false echo from the radar. The storm system that brought us all the severe weathers now is working over towards Chicago. We're on the back side of it, so that's why we have the calm weather. That's also why we had the winds out of the northwest. This low went all the way to Chicago, and look what it's doing now, bringing tornadoes to portions of Michigan, also some severe thunderstorms towards Cincinnati. It worked in from Colorado. That's why we were so windy yesterday, and it broke records in Colorado. Set the lowest pressure ever recorded in Colorado. That's an unofficial report, but 969 millibars, if it verifies, would be pretty much like a Category 2 hurricane. That's how wound up this system was and why it produced 97 mile per hour wind gusts in Colorado Springs. Now, though, backside of it, things are going to be calm. Let's take through time here on Futurecast, kind of show you how that plays out tonight with those temperatures falling down to the 30s, and then tomorrow, maybe a little bit more cloud cover climbing up into the low 50s. Tonight, I've got a low of around 34 here in San Angelo, clear and chilly with northeast winds at 5 miles per hour. For your Friday, 56, mostly sunny with northeast winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. And as you take a look at that extended forecast, we're going to see those temperatures kind of go down a little bit and then go up. 61 Sunday, 66 Monday and Tuesday. We go back to the warm and muggy conditions as we head towards the end of next week. Maybe even tracking another storm system coming in. That's why I've got a 20% chance of rain there on Thursday. And we'll be right back.